Hello everybody and welcome to another Freddy Cook's International Soul Food Mukbang. If you've been here before, then you know exactly who it is. You know what it is. We got steak. We got some salad here. If this is your first time joining, then you should subscribe. I'm just encouraging you to do what you need to do. So, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and say grace. Bow your heads for this food I'm about to receive. Let it nourish and strengthen my body for Christ's sakes. Lord, I thank you for provision in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. And... Hold that thought. Okay. Got a little too excited there, but so here we are. Hope you're doing well today. Wasn't going to record just as uh, many other times. And here I find myself back here for another Fred Cook's International Soul Food Mukbang. Not going to be before you very long. Ooh. Before you very long, I'm just going to eat my food and have a little chat with you. Okay, on my salad, I have just used what I had. I got some lettuce. Um, got some mozzarella cheese, some bacon bits, some croutons, and some jalapenos. And I also have some pepperoni chopped up on here. I'm gonna slide this back. Hey friends, hey family, how you doing? Also got a pickle, some grilled Tanaka sausage, some steak sauce back here. I think it's stop shaking. I think it's going on like 11 o'clock p.m. here. And I'm eating so late because I went to sleep right after I got off again. I've got to stop doing that. It's like I go to sleep after work, just plan to take like a nap. And I don't know what my idea of a nap is because one hour only is enough sleep to make me mad. But when I lay down, in my head, I'm thinking I'm just going to lay down for a little bit, rest off a little bit, maybe two hours, tops, two hours, and then I get up and do whatever. Well, I think I woke up at like 840. It felt like 10 o'clock though when I woke up because I was sleeping so good. But I'm glad it wasn't that late. But still, I'm going to have to get out of the habit of going to sleep when I get off. You would think this is like my body is just so tired when I get off because I'm sitting in the same spot all day. And granted, yes, I move around every now and then. I take a couple of bathroom breaks. 
We got an hour lunch. But still, for the most of the day, I'm sitting in the same spot. And that makes me tired. So I know as long as I'm moving, I'm okay. Even like I worked, I did some part-time factory work maybe about a little over a year ago now. And it we, we constantly moved, constantly moved on our feet all day, moving around, which I think I, I like that part of working. I like to be moving around. And as frustrated as my feet were by the time I got off, it's like my blood was pumping. And when I got home, I can continue to move. And I know I was a little tired from doing the job. I didn't feel fatigued. Anyways, I hope I didn't overcook this steak. This is a pretty big, it's a T-bone. And I like my steaks cooked medium. I think I did overcook it. Cause I don't have a thermometer and I just, I kept let it going and going and going. And I knew I probably should have been taking up, took it off the grill. Yeah, it feels like it's overcooked. I prefer it to be medium. I prefer medium well, but more between medium well and medium. I'd rather it be medium than well done though, but it looks like today, I'm gonna to have to settle for well. I'll remember next time. Yeah, it's definitely well. Boo! Look at that. Definitely well done. Mm. Great flavor, but it's just too done. Oh, that's a bone. I'm about to pick this sucker up in a minute. Yes, I'm about to eat that fat. I sure am. Mm. Great flavor, though. Got a whole half of onion here that I grilled. Is there anybody out there that like their steaks well done? Mm.
Ooh, look at that juicy onion. Look at there. Ha uh ha. -huh. Have garlic butter on there. The steak is seasoned with garlic butter. Excuse me. Got some Heinz 57 back here. Y'all, this is my favorite part, getting the fat with the meat. I know a lot of people cut this fat off because it's a lot. Look. Mm, look how it, whoop, whoop, whoop. Ooh, that's going to be good. Mm. I definitely have to get out of the habit of going to sleep when I get off work. Do y'all have any bad habits that you need to break? Any cycles that you need to get yourself out of? Cycles are hard to break. That's why it's a cycle. It keeps consistently happening over and over again. And really, the only way to break the cycle is to do something different. Mm. Easier said than done, but I'm going to take some some discipline. The only way to achieve it is to replace the bad habits with the good habits. Definitely got to do something different. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Just got to do it. Know what to do. Just got to do it. So what I'm trying to get my mind wrapped around because I need to do this anyways 
instead of going to sleep right after work. Whew, I'm going to exercise. Now you heard the word going to, but going to never did anything. Mm -hmm. Because I'm always going to do it. It just has to become a necessity in my life. It's got to take priority over sleep. But I love sleep. Oh, I love sleep so much. That's not good. <laughs> but I'm telling the truth. feel so at peace. I'm about to pick this thing up.
Mm. Today I'm drinking ginger ale bold. Mm. So good. Not can keep you any longer. If you're here, thank you for joining me. Until next time, National Soul Food. Bye.